two of the greatest motorcycle racers in the world, head to head in the pouring rain here at Hulot and Blumont. Two of the greatest of all time as yeah. well, these two. Don't forget Lorenzo out of the front. Up at the chicane again. Here comes Rossi. He's going to have a go. I'm sure he's going to have a go on Stone. There's no way through the ring. Can he make it stick? Again, Stoner sits up and allows him to come through, but can't get the exit this time. Rossi just blocks his path. Down towards La Chapelle corner, Rossi has the advantage in second place, runs it deep into the middle of La Chapelle corner, but will get the drive out on the exit. They run up towards Museum, but it drops away the track into there. Garage Fair is another option for Stoner to come back. Rossi has the hammer down, trying to put enough of a distance between himself and the Aussie. Through the Museum, down towards Garage Fair, half a lap to go, the French Grand Prix at Le Mans. This will stir up a few fans, won't it? <laughs> because uh, they've not been able to cheer on Valentino Rossi for the last year, really, apart from at this track at Le Mans. I think Rossi's got it. He's got it now on exit from Garage Vare. Stoner too far back, going to have to settle for third place. He won't want to at all. And this will be Valentino Rossi's best result on board the Ducati. He's not retiring. He wants another two years. He wants more races like this. Oh, Casey well. Stoner must be enjoying this one, although he's probably going to lose out to second place. I think he's showing why he wants another couple of years. He's yeah. got the desire. He's still got the hunger. Wait for the cheers. Listen to the crowd. Valentino Rossi is back. He's second here in Le Mans in front of Casey Stoner.